The next thing we'll want to do is set up tracking, and not just set it up, but set it up accurately and correctly and test it. Tracking is not an optional thing, it's a must have if you want to be data driven, if you want to make data driven decisions, and if you want to measure your marketing and performance. This is how you record key performance indicators. So, to begin, some common tools that people use, and the ones that I recommend, would be the following Google Tag Manager or gtag.js. Let's take a look briefly at what these are. Google Tag Manager is a tag management system. That means you can implement tags through it. So think about a piece of code, you put it on a website. Just actually don't think of it as a code. Think of it as a rectangle. Take that rectangle, it's nothing more than a container. You put it on the site. And inside of that container, just like in a Tupperware container, you can put other things. And in this case, those other things are simply other scripts that will help us track whatever it is we want to track. For example, Google Analytics. We could put Google Analytics in that container, and now we're capturing analytics data about our website. So that's a tag management system. gtag.js, this is an alternative to Google Tag Manager, but this is a little bit different. This is a JavaScript tagging framework an API that allows you to send event data to Google Ads, Google Analytics, and a few other things. You can only implement basically Google tags through it only, whereas Google Tag Manager has other tags it can actually implement. The next thing, once we, once we decide on that, the next thing would be Google Analytics. This is a very common analytics, web analytics piece of software that people usually put or install. This is what it looks like. So I would recommend at least setting up the basic version of that. And then auto tagging. So inside of your Google Ads account, what you're going to want to do is link Google Ads and Google Analytics, and that will allow you to set auto tagging. And to do that, you would actually go into your account settings here, account settings. This is where auto tagging lives and that's where you set it up. Then there's Google Tag Assistant. If you want to see what tags are actually firing on your website, this is a Chrome extension that you can install. Whenever we refresh this page here, it will show me what tags I'm actually using. So a very helpful little tool that tells me I'm using Remarketing, Google Analytics, and Google Tag Manager. So once we install that, we check it off the list. Then there's Google Search Console. You'll want to set that up here. This is what it looks like. After we do that, we're going to link everything to Google Ads. So that is just simply going to Tools, Linked Accounts, okay? And then we set up Remarketing. That is an entirely massive category to talk about, but this is where you find remarketing in your AdWords interface. Here's how you set up a remarketing list right here. And there are a lot of options. And for us, what we're mostly interested in is this YouTube users. That's pretty interesting, right? What you can do is people that have viewed a video from any channel or viewed certain videos. So that's pretty cool. But we just can't really dive into that in this crash course. So that is what I would say. That's the first top part of just getting the pieces in place. The next thing we're going to talk about are campaign and ad group settings.